Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Ladad. And it's your boy, Stanley. Coming in with this week's Green Leaf. Listen, yeah. if you were in the live on last night, go ahead and let us know in the comment section below. We had yeah. a great time last night. Yes, we did. Going forward, we're going to try to make an effort to come in right after the show um, airs. And kind of just have a little banter back and forth with each other. Just yeah. lose some quick quick. Not the real review, so here you're going to get the real review. But before we get into it, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to our channel, and more importantly, make sure you have your bell notification yeah. on so that when we do come in with a live, you get to be the first to know. You yeah. get the first to know. Yeah. Go ahead and while you're at it, subscribe to our lifestyle channel. Our lifestyle channel chronicles things that are going on in our lives, exactly. including our vacations. So it's a ball of fun over there. It's called Life With Us TV. Everything will be linked down and below. below. Yeah. And if you're interested in following us on Instagram, go ahead and do that too. Because that's where you'll know the latest and the greatest because it's easier to post there. Yeah. So let's go ahead and get into this week's yeah. review of Greenleaf. Y'all, <laughs> it's huh. called Second Day. This is the second day that I've been a little pissed off because <laughs> AJ is still here with us. I'm really starting to question my Christianity at this point because I've never wanted someone to go away so badly in my life. Not because he's done anything wrong. He just won't progress. Yeah, if he just be just, just give me a half a percent, maybe even a quarter of percent. Of appreciation for what they trying to do for you, bruh. We let you stick around for another 30 days. Yeah. <laughs> so for all of you all that put in your order at Kroger to get your fried chicken. Huh. Or at the local Publix. If you went out and got the potatoes for the potato salad and the check sodas to bring to the fume. Yeah. Go ahead and hold that. I know this weekend we're not celebrating on the 4th of July, but we all going to still be getting together yeah, anyway. Yeah, we're going to be so, cooking out. Yeah. So bring all that food. <laughs> To your cud in yeah. your house and enjoy it because it's not for AJ Fiona. And then we're just going to get it on the pop it from there. We're just going to have to live with the decision that the writers are giving us at this very moment. Yeah. But Gigi goes to the hospital. And come to find out AJ's wounds were able to be stitched up. He had to have a blood transfusion, which I know that that's going to come up later. Mm -hmm. And the nurse looked Gigi straight in her eye and was like, um... He don't really won't see you right now. Especially you. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about the daddy. I'm like, what? Yeah, well, we ain't got that yet. Yeah. That's the first day. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's right. So she said, you know, he has to go under a psychic vow, all that good stuff. So try back in the morning. Next day, she goes to the hospital. By this time, no one don't got off the mega bus. He must have got that twenty dollar special where the bus breaks down at least six times before you get to your destination. Nah, Noah got his stimulus check, man. So he can afford to come. So he got, he flew in. <laughs> yeah, time. he flew in off that stimulus mm -hmm. check, bro. So he flew in on the stimulus check and he got to the hospital. He gave Gigi the biggest hug ever, and she gave him that church pity pat pat like. <laughs> like, uh, okay. Yeah. He was like, listen, if they don't hurry up and come out here and give us an update, I'm about to make some noise. I said, that's a real parent for you right there. If they don't come out here and tell me about my son, I'm about to tear this whole No hospital do up. be keeping you waiting, though. They do. Which I understand. I know they busy they, and stuff like that. They do. Yeah, so I, I, I see it both ways. Like Rick Ross <laughs> said, I see it both ways. I don't know where we meet at in the middle. But <laughs> they, they do need a mediator. Yeah. Because everybody that comes out the door, you like this. Yeah. Is it funny? Like, is it funny? Doctor? Uh huh. And then that moment they call you in that office, you know that's that's not good at all. But why are we be in a rush to possibly get some bad news, though? Because it's better to know what's going on, yeah, than to not know. Yeah, true that, true that, true so, that. So, in the meantime, in the between time, since Gigi isn't able to go and see her son right now, she's over there entertaining Darius because Darius has been calling Cal. Y'all know Cal from last season. Mm -hmm. The the priest was well, is he a priest? No. We're going to just go say pastor. Yeah. The pastor that didn't want to fall under the H&H &H trap. Mm hmm But seems like old Cal fell under the H&H &H trap. Yeah. And the, some the, money is good, the money right? is good, The money is good. The money is good at Hustle Head So Darius is trying to get some information from him because, you know, he works for the press, all that good stuff. But he won't answer him. Hmm. So Gigi takes Darius over there to Cal's house. And Cal was like, hey, there's some skit right here. First of all, I've been directed not to tell you anything. And um, what's the name? 
Bob, Bob knows all about what you're doing and the stories and all of that. I suggest you leave him up out of here. I said, okay, this is about to come up later. Well, later on in the show, Cal has a good heart. Although he's caught up in some skit that's way bigger than him. Yeah. He ended up calling Gigi and giving her this tidbit of information. So we're going to find out what this means later. What was it? It was um, Eden Bell Lending. So I'm like, huh. We don't know what that, what's going to come of that, but it is what it is. Yeah. So let's go ahead and talk about First Lady and Bishop. They don't set a date for this wedding now because AJ's attempted suicide blocked them going to the courthouse to City Hall to get married that day. So they came what well, Lady May threw out there, why don't we get married on Flag Day? Yeah. Oh, Bishop was like, absolutely, we can yeah. do that, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> And then they ended up going down there to Mavis Juke Joint because Gigi was like, with all this going on, if you need a juke joint to turn it into a church, just, 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 don't just do it. take it. So they go down there. First lady is like, uh, no. <laughs> no, we need to gut all this skit. Because I know it's some dead bodies up on these just flow. Some moonshine and some mo skit. But, but like I told y'all last night, Man, you have the best church in places like that that you yeah. convert place that you convert into a church. Cause it's not too nice where if you get to shouting too hard, you gonna tear up something. It, see the thing about it, it has not been contaminated with tradition. Yeah. That's what makes the spirit flow a whole lot more power. That's a word right there. Though. Yeah, for real, for real. It hasn't been contaminated with tradition. You ain't got that crazy looking Jesus on the wall looking <laughs> like He looking like he need help. Yeah. <laughs> Like, y'all don't take that skit down. Like, we need to lay hands on him. Yeah. So all that scripture that you read, you ain't read that scripture about having the graven images? Huh. huh. Let's go ahead and uh, make that plain. Hey. So, uh, first lady was like, you know what? At this point, the only thing that will satisfy me right now is to take a match to this place. <laughs> I said, well, y'all do like to burn skit down, so it is what it is. Yeah, there so ain't nothing different here. Yeah. So later on in the episode... Bishop has circled back to First Lady after he was trying to get in touch with Mavis because he was like, ain't no way in hell we gonna just burn this place down without Mavis' blessing. I mean, this was something, this was her child. This was mm -hmm. her baby. Yeah. Yes, she left it to Gigi, but she left it to Gigi because she knew that at some point she could still come back and see the guy doing thing. Yeah. So out of respect, I'm gonna call her and see what's up. Well, he tried to call her. Somebody was on the other line. She never picked up. So he ended up just hanging out and reminiscing. Yeah. And y'all told me on last night that she had went off to Sweden. I forgot where the heck she went. I knew she went somewhere in um in that car, but I didn't know where she ended up. In that Taurus. <laughs> oh, in the temple. I don't remember what the hell it was. So I think it was Ford Taurus. I think. It was one of them. Pushes. It don't matter. It, she, it was a she, pooch. Her gone. That's all that matters. She is sweet. Yeah. So Bishop ends up going back to First Lady and was like, you know what? We need to set a date. She was like, set a date for what? We need to set, set a date for this wedding. For this wedding. He said, I know we had a minor setback, but we need to get this thing on and pop it. <laughs> she was like, um, did, didn't we already talk about that earlier today? He was like, when? When? <laughs> <laughs> and then he, he thought about it and he pulled back and he was like, this oh. morning, yeah. Oh, yeah, flag day, yeah. So she was sitting there like, wait a minute, the what the hell is going on with Bishop now? But you know the funny thing about that is right there, which was so powerful that I know all of y'all have witnessed at church that people who ain't quite can remember everything, but they can remember them scriptures, dog. Scriptures and songs. Yes. So, so Bishop probably be like, I might not remember the wedding date, but I remember that Bible, though. <laughs> <laughs> so at that point, First Lady's giving him the side eye, like, hold on. Next thing we know, she was like, uh-uh, fast is over. Let me go down here and find the first thing I could pull out the refrigerator. She pulled out this week old pasta. <sighs> Marsal was like, uh, First Lady, that's a week old. Yeah, I, I can make you something fresh enough today. She was like, in so many words, if you take this um, pasta from out of my hands, I will fight uh -huh. you. Now, if any of y'all have ever been on any kind of fast huh. for any duration of time, y'all yep. would know that that feeling is real. Look, I ain't even gonna lie. Dirt looks good. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie. 
doing a fast. It's horrible. Toothpaste becomes your meal. You ain't know. You Keep me brushing your teeth. Like, oh, this toothpaste tastes good. Just don't swallow it, though. Just mm. it, that, that, that tastes good. Uh huh. Put some more on there. Say, so you got that <laughs> strawberry flavor over there? Give me that. Give me that. Yeah, fasting is no joke, but the outcome of fasting is usually a very beautiful thing. But she told Marisol, she said, what I, the giant that I have to face now, I need all the strength of the Lord that I need, and I need to eat. Yeah. Basically, my husband, but I just saw something that I didn't like, and I need my strength to deal with this here. <laughs> I said, yes, you do. Indeed. And somebody let me know last night on the live that Parkinson's usually develops into losing your memory, memory. as well, which I didn't know that. Yeah, and then we come to find out um, when we took your mama to the doctor, uh, what was what was going on with was her blood pressure? No, she had a urinary tract infection. Yeah, a urinary tract infection caused that too. Uh, yeah, my uh, mom got real confused and started short -term, forgetting stuff. Yeah, and short term like, memory, like because we had just talked to her about something that morning. It's like, well, Bishop. Yeah. And then by that evening, it was like you didn't. Have yeah, a it was like yeah. So I took it to the doctor. <clears throat> I was like, I'm not playing with this. Yeah. And they was like, real talk. I think she has a urinary tract infection. Did all the stuff, and they was like, oh, she has a severe urinary tract infection. I said, that's crazy. Yeah, so I'm trying to figure out, you know, I know everything in your body is connected to your brain, but how is your PP connected to your <laughs> memory loss? I, I didn't know it. But it yeah, was like I somebody know. our age, they doesn't usually do it to, but they said older people, it could just really make them all out of whack. But yeah. And ever since then, but if you're a doctor on the channel, you, if you know, you have some insight on that. You can be brief in the comments and be like, how does that work? Yeah. You know, just in case we got to deal with it again. <laughs> yeah. So Jacob and Carissa. Carissa tells Jacob, listen, we have a meeting at such and such time. Make sure you be there. Well, the meeting was she don't got her lawyer on Jacob. The lawyer is reading Jacob for Phil talking about some. You need to go and get you a real job because yeah. she is seeking full custody of Winky. And I was like, you don't even have Winky. Yeah. But she's doing that because she wants him to pay her probably spousal support mm -hmm. and child support. Yep. And Jacob is just like, what the buck is going on here? But then he signed the papers, which confused the heck out of me. I was like, so you just not going to fight? You just going to give her what she wants but at the same time jacob is in a position where if i kind of don't give her what she wants i know that she'll yeah, take she this wheel like, she got him by the kahunas man so, so i mean he had a rock and a hard place because i'm like if i don't do what she want my parents can go to prison for the rest of their life <laughs> and i think jacob already knew about daryl james yeah he did about being burnt up in the church so i'm like but he don't, I don't know if he knew everything. Yeah. I no, he couldn't have known. Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, parents don't tell us everything. No, they don't. We find out. We just, deal with the, we just deal with the repercussions of what they did. Hello. Huh? Hello. Huh? So Zora is checking her parents, right? <laughs> about their lovely way of parenting and the fact that she knows that they're going through a divorce. And pretty much, why won't y'all just talk to me and tell me the real, real? Yeah. I mean, she was right. But wrong. But wrong because she was very disrespectful. So she still should have got her a whoop. Let me, no. let me just talk to uh, my daddy and mama like that coming up. Matter of fact, y'all wouldn't even see me right now. Because <laughs> I'll be six feet under. I'm telling you right now. Mm. <laughs> so because Winky overheard a little riffraff between his parents, Je when, when the mama was taking her slut pills, her <laughs> slut meds, um... Jacob took Winky out to go fishing, right? And he had gotten a tackle box earlier in the episode, and I believe he got it from the locker of uh, Uncle Matt. So he's looking in, looking in, and then he looks at this piece of paper. And come to find out, it looks like the original, original will. will. Yeah, it looks like the original. And it was Loretta Davis, and the beneficiary was Daryl James. Hmm. Which is Basie Skank's father. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was burnt up in the mother bucking church. Well, they well, they said that they, they didn't know he was in there. But I don't know if I can believe that or not. At, according to the preview from next week, I'm not completely sure that they did not know he was going to be in the church. Because it sounded like look, Bishop look, put the call in. Look, look, look. Let me, let me put it to you this way. When you have somebody that cleans the church, they clean the church the same day, same time, every, every week. week. 
So you knew he was there. Yep. You probably dropped the supplies off on him. Mm -hmm. But if you saw that will and saw all that prosperity and that big house and all that money Remote and be able to get a bigger church and be able to get on the mat, keep Daryl James alive or burn him up, I go with burn him up for uh, a, a, a million Alex. <laughs> so let's talk about our girl Sophia. Sophia is starting to act a little desperate. Hmm. And, and we know how it is when we have our first little love, and especially if you don't gave up the goods to the little boy. Yeah, and and he rich, so yeah, that, he got a little, yeah, he got so little that's money. Part way, uh, yeah, yeah, I can <clears> imagine. <throat> and he is in a, between a rock and a hard place. He likes Sophia, but he got a thing with Nikki, mm -hmm. so he's trying to figure out which one does he want to be with right now. Y'all want to be in the fast lane or the slow lane? And it seems like Nikki is winning at this point. Mm -hmm. And Sophia is kind of like, what do you want? Um, do you want me? She's kind of in that space where she's just trying to figure it out, but she's starting to look desperate. Mm -hmm. Well, later on in the episode, we found out that uh, she just sent him a titty pic. And ain't nothing in the world going to tell me that Nikki didn't leak that. Oh, yeah, she did that. As soon as she made that call and she answered that phone, that's when she did it. I that, was, that was her payback. Oh, so called wow. payback. But you know what it made me thought of? Just like we talked about in the live last night, going back to Queen Sugar. Ain't that so familiar? With Charlie going through that, trying to save the farm, and your mama Micah's got on Dan Lane, ended up on social yeah, media. Sure did. And now we got freaking uh, uh, Sophia's got on titties oh, on man. social media. Ain't it? We're going to have to sue somebody for revenge porn. That's what we're going to have to do. Get that same lawyer that's over there talking skit with Carissa. Mm -hmm. Tell her, don't leave the house yet. Yeah. I need you. Because this, this is a mess. It's a mess. It's a whole mess. So let's talk about Miss Charity. Charity. <laughs> Charity is not wanted anywhere that she goes. Charity came to the house. First lady or Gigi ain't speaking to her. Pretty much dismissed her. Told her that anything that she got going on is that in comparison to, to what the they hell got that they got going on. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, that's not fair, y'all. It really isn't fair because Charity has been through some skits. She done yeah. lost a whole baby. Uh -huh. She had twins. That little girl died. Mature she divorce. lost her husband to another man. That's mm -hmm. a lot to process. Yeah. So we can't say that she has not dealt with anything because she has. Did Charity do wrong? Yes. yes. Did First Lady do wrong? Yes. yes. So, all, and somebody pointed out in the comments, which is very true, what First Lady did, she did to try to get the church for the family. Charity tried to get the church to take away from the family. Yeah. That's a kind of a difference, but they yeah. all scandalous, and they all did it for <clears throat> selfish reasons. Yep. And that's what we're saying. Like Everybody <clears throat> is mad with Charity, but they don't have that same energy for First Lady because she did it for selfish reasons, too. Yep. She just was going to bring y'all along on it, right? Yep. So, so, Charity comes to the house. Nobody, Nobody's feeling Charity. Charity tried to speak to Gigi in private and share this poem with her that she had written for her little girl. Um, pretty much begging God not to take her little girl from her and whatnot. And Gigi was like, and she kept telling her, I know how it feels to lose a child. And she just said, I haven't lost, lost a child. child. Yeah. So it was kind of like, what you trying to say? That was kind of offensive. Yeah. And she, trying to say my, you trying to say my child going to die? Yeah. <laughs> so Gigi dismissed her as well. And she was like, you know what? I just left from the church where her office. <laughs> I don't yeah, get it. I don't. Yeah. That, yeah. Hold you going to paint an office and get ready to be destroyed in a week? In a week. Really? And they're going to paint it. What she said, uh, plantation now, paint. Now, this is the problem that I had with it. What? they not using their own money out of their personal checking account to pay for that office. They're using the good church folks' tithe and offering money to oh, paint an office for a week. week. And the size of that office, I reckon it probably costs about six to seven, maybe six to a thousand dollars to paint that office right there. Did you May just do a whole estimate on it? Yeah. Because <laughs> they paint what he said, he painted the plantation paint. And, and, and something well, something great trim. Yeah. So you're getting two jobs done. So it's going to be pretty expensive. Man. Man, I said, Confederate gray. Confederate gray. I said, I am so done with you. So she's already don't had this run in at the church where she, wherever she goes, you're not really wanted. Judy is trying to stake her claim, put her marking in that church, huh. kick you out of your office. 
even Charity would told Judy, the only reason he's marrying you is because his father, your um, your father is making him. Charity, get your skit like you told them. Why don't I just get my baby? Yeah. And just move. Yeah. I'm not wanted at the church. Mm -hmm. I'm not wanted here. This has been the most rational decision I've ever heard you make. Yeah. yeah. Move. Yeah. All of y'all. You're grown. Get the hell out. <laughs> yeah. Why well, stay somewhere where you're, where not, you're wanted. not wanted? Yeah. I said, I, I, I don't get it. But First Lady May read her every time she got an opportunity. They called her <laughs> Judas. <laughs> I said, dang, mate. But you know what it is? It reminds me of that same energy she used to have for Gigi. Mm -hmm. It's like now she don't to transfer it, it yeah. over to charity. Yeah, speaking of that, I'm just so glad that she finally apologized to Gigi for the way she's been treating her. I don't know if it was 100% genuine because, you know, they are going through some stuff. Because some people, unfortunately, feel sympathy when they're going through some stuff. Now they feel like... You know, I'm, you know, especially when they get ready to die. Now, all of a sudden, I need to make it right with my kids and my family. And, you know, I want everybody to come and I want to talk to them. And, yeah, sometimes it's, it's unrepairable. So yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know if that's going to be the repair because I got a feeling that and this new church get opened up, she's going to be going right back at Gigi just the same way. Certainly if they give Gigi a position. Yep. Oh, let her, no, let her preach. <laughs> Yeah. That's gonna be the straw that's gonna break the camel's back. Yeah. Cause Gigi can preach better than, than Lady May. Yeah. So that's gonna be an issue. So the last scene, and like I said, like a, a lot didn't go on, but it still was a good episode. Yeah, it was. Jacob ended up going over there to my girl, Keisha Cole Skate apartment. And he was like, now when she answered the door, it was almost like you came back for me. Yeah. He was like, mm. Where's <laughs> Macy? She was like, Jacob, basically. He's Jacob. dead. I said, he ain't dead. Nah, he ain't dead. He ain't dead nowhere. Nah. He gonna come from out the shadows, wreaking havoc once again. But I thought about this. This might be a stretch, but if, I'm gonna say I'm gonna speculate. <laughs> what if Bishop them put the head out on Basie to kill him? Because if he goes to the police and kind of start explaining about his daddy being burnt up in the church, that could get them implicated. But they don't know about the will, though. That's the only thing. But they know that Basie knows, so did they put a hit out on him. It's a lot going on with these good church folk, man. I'm telling you, church folks thugs, too. <laughs> <laughs> what did Scripture say? The kingdom suffers violence. And the violence, and the violence take, take it by force. force. And everything that Bishop them got, they took it by force. <laughs> Straight from the VA. <laughs> the dirty, dirty sound. Two up, two down. <laughs>